hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to build a paid membership website with Wix. Once on Wix.com, you can create an account for completely free using your email address. After you have done that, you are going to tap on create new site. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to a new page and you are going to tap on create on Wix editor. After selecting create on Wix editor, I want you to tap on set up without AI. Once you have tapped on set up without AI, you are going to tap on the search bar and you are going to simply type in membership. So you can do that real quick right here. So you are going to type in membership since we are creating a membership website. After you have done that, you can scroll down and you can select a particular membership website. So for example, let's say we are creating a coaching community. You could tap on coaching community if it is a case that you would like to sell, for example, a fitness subscription box or so on. You can select whichever one of these categories best suits you. You can see there are numerous options that you can choose from. For example, if we were to select online club, you could do that right there, then tap on continue. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a new page. Once on this new page, you will enter your website name. So you can enter your website name right here. So for example, test paid. Then we're going to tap on continue. After you have done that, you can select what are the goals for your website, whether you would like to sell products, collect leads, share knowledge, or so on. But since our main aim is to build a community, I'll tap on that. And we're going to tap on share knowledge also. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, you can see the different recommended apps. So for example, if you would like to, for example, collect bookings, you could do that. If you plan on selling products, you could tap on online store right there. But what we're going to be selecting since we are creating a paid membership, we're going to scroll down and we're going to see right here. You could sell online training programs if you want. So you could tap right there. But we're going to tap on groups. So you can tap on groups right there. You could also start a forum if you want. And again, if you are going to sell programs like courses or so on, you could tap on online program right there. And if you'd like to add your Instagram feed, you can do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, I want you to tap on go to dashboard. After selecting go to dashboard, you'll be redirected to this page. Once on this page, all I want you to do next is we're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you will see the option groups. You're going to tap right there. After you have tapped on groups, you can see a sample group that they have added right here. If we were to tap on the sample group, you can see we could edit the group name. So for example, at the moment, it is called test paid group. You could edit the cover image if you want. After you have done that, you can scroll down. And since we are creating a paid membership website, we're going to be selecting only paying members. After doing that, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on connect a pricing plan. After tapping on connect a pricing plan, you can see right here, create a plan. So this is basically the different pricing options or tiers that you'll be able to offer your potential members. So you're going to tap on create a plan. So for example, we'll just be giving it some basic name. So let's say for example, first plan. And you could add a cover image. So you could add a cover image by tapping right there. Then you'll tell them what are the main things that they'll be offered in this plan. So let's say, for example, the main thing will be one on one consultation. So I could type in that. And you could add more features that they'll be getting. Then you can scroll down and you could select some of the pre made benefits. So you could, for example, say online programs, you could tap right there and you could also scroll down. And once you are scrolled down and you see the pricing option, 
you can select whether it is a one-time payment option or a recurring payment so for example let's say it is recurring and they'll be paying five dollars you can select whether it is a monthly recurring payment option or weekly or yearly or for example custom you can also choose whether you like to enable a free trial period then you can choose how long you would like the free trial period to be so for example let's say seven days free trial period then you can scroll down and you can see you can also limit it to one subscription per customer allow customers to cancel their subscription i would definitely recommend that you leave this toggle off let customers select when they would like their start date to begin no we'll leave that as is if you like to add policies you can also do that if you like to collect additional information at checkout you can do that you can also customize the thank you page as you can see right here and we're going to tap on save so let me choose the length of the plan real quick so you can choose three months 12 months until cancel that's what i'm going to be choosing then tap on save so we have created our first group you can create more groups if you want so you could go back right here so i'm going to tap on cancel right there i'll tap on save in the top right hand corner once the changes have been saved we'll go back and we could create a second group you could tap on create group right here and you could tap on start from scratch and you could create a second group also or you could choose one of the pre-loaded templates that they have right here and when it comes on to online programs you could tap on online programs and for example if you would like to sell a course or so on or offer a course in the membership section you could do that as you can see right here you could tap on get started and you could offer a course and if we were to go back so we're going to tap on groups once more and from here if you were to tap on create post you can see right there once we tap on create post this post will be added to the paid group and you could type in whatever you would like to share so you can type in whatever you like to share right there then tap on post if it is a case that you would like to add an image you could do that so you could add image there you can also add a gallery you can add gif you can add videos you can add a file or so on so you can basically share whatever information you would like to share with your paid group as you can see right here you can create polls you can also tap on more you can embed html code you can add stuff from different social media platforms and so on as you can see there are numerous things that you can add and you can also set up the different topics by tapping on topics right here you could tap on create a new topic and you can create a new topic you could also tap on monetize right there and if you would like to for example add an additional fee for a different form of service you could do that and talking about monetize to accept payments you'll need to tap on getting paid from the left hand menu option then you're going to tap on connect payment method depending on the country you're located in you're going to see different payment options that you can connect for example at the moment i can offer tilopay and paypal but if you're located in different countries for example canada or so on you'll be able to offer kalarna and afterpay and so much more once you're finished setting it up all you'll need to do is close out of it and then from there you can tap on set up in the top left hand corner after tapping on setup we are going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner then you are going to tap on pick a template from here you can choose from whichever one of these templates suits you and you could even tap on the search bar in the top right hand corner and from there you could type in for example membership let's do that membership after you have typed in membership you could select that and then you could scroll down and you can see the different recommended themes so you can scroll down until you have found one to your liking let's say for example this one and i'm going to simply tap on it 
or I'll select this one better yet. So we'll tap on edit. After you have tapped on edit, you will now be able to customize your theme. So start customizing your theme. You're going to tap right where you see the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. But just give it a few seconds while our website is being prepared in the background. Once your website is finished being prepared, you can simply tap here and you could add in some basic information on the Wix AI will create content for your website if you want. But for now, we're going to close that, tap on the plus 50%. Then from here to start editing, for example, I'll change the name. I could simply tap on the text, tap on edit text. And from here, I can change the font style and I can also edit the text if I want. I could change the color and so on, as you can see right there. Now to change the text, I could simply type in, for example, my name. So you can see right there. And if I wanted to change the background color, all I would have to do is tap on the section, tap on change header design. Then from there, you can change the color to whatever you want. You can edit each section just like that. Just simply tap on the text that you like to change, type in the text that you like to add, and that's it. If you like to add something that you don't see on your website, you'll tap on the plus in the top left hand corner that says add elements. Then from there, you can add whatever you want, whether it is an image, whether it is a button, text, anything at all, you'll simply drag and place it. To view all pages on your website, you're going to tap on home in the top left hand corner, and you can see all the pages right here. For example, if I were to tap on members, it would carry me to the members page. So you can see it right there. And this is how it would look. And if I were to tap on preview, you will see a better example of how it would look. So you can see right there. So this is how their profile will look. So you can see it there. And if they were to tap on, for example, about, you can see how the about page looks right here. So this is how our about page looks and you can quickly edit it also just like what I was saying earlier. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And by the way, once you're finished, you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner.